Hey guys, I want to go over the Google Maps scraper that we have in SMTP Ghost. In order to access that, uh, you want to go to your lead finder here on the left hand sidebar and then click on the Google Maps section. Click on here. And the way you want to think about it is essentially as if you're going to the Google Maps and searching for a key term. So right now here's a key ter keyword, basically plumbers in Brooklyn. And you can see that uh, Google returns all these results here. So now what you want to do is just go here and then put in like, let's say a hundred and you can put up to a hundred basically. And the way that I would tell people to do it too, is you want to do, um, let's say you're in Brooklyn, you could do Brooklyn, you could do New York city, you could do Queens. That way, when you get your leads back, you'll get, you'll get four different leads of all the different search terms. And then you can uh, sort of merge them into one big list. So click on that. And here you could see that, you know, I've done some for, um, plumbers in Brooklyn. And once you get that, you're going to just get a CSV and let's download CSV and we can open this up. One thing too, um, that you'll see here is that we will give you the email, the phone number of uh, the business name, obviously, and a bunch of information that you can then use in your cold outreach. So once you have that, um, you can also get the ranking of where it was in Google maps. So you could see that, um, you know, above, above and beyond was number one. So you can use that to prioritize your list as well. And again, this, when you're, when we're getting this list for you, we are actually going to their website and finding their emails. That way you get the most accurate and up to date. So this sometimes can take a while, depending on how many you do. And again, sometimes we can't find it. So you will only give you the phone number, which you can then use to call them or uh, put it in your other CRM. So once you have that, one thing that you want to probably want to do is go here, go to your lists and segments, and then you want to upload a new list. And let's say it's um, plumbers, Brooklyn. Create your list. Let's upload that list. And then you could see here, um, we're going to be uploading all this information. And again, with something like this, since we're using it for cold emailing, uh, only the email, only the ones with the email will get uploaded. So you don't have to worry about ones that didn't have any uh, emails. And once you have this, you can then use this to um, add more emails. Or again, like I said before, uh, you can now say like, okay, Queens, and see if there's any leads here, the potential that you would want. And then we can put that keyword into SNTP Ghost and, and get those again. So you could see here that now you're presented with um, your contact list of all the emails, and then you can use this to, uh, again, clean, clean these emails and begin uh, the clean process. But anyways, that's how you can um, essentially just use uh, the lead finder to uh, find, the, find the leads and use that. And again, typically similar to what I said before, um, you can use the variations of different ones. So, so we got dealerships, for example, you could say dealerships, Queens, dealerships, New York city, Brooklyn. And you can see here that, um, you can get up to like potentially 300 different uh, contacts you can email. So that's how you use the lead finder feature. Uh, let us know what you think and, uh, we'll come back soon with, uh, other options for you as well.